In a strange new domain, the Baroness of Arcadia surveys a ruined city. Suddenly, she is attacked by sentinels. They detect her abnormal genetic status, and when she refuses to turn herself in, the androids attack. She-Hulk makes short work of one of them, but the fight is cut off when three Thors arrive. Valkyrie, Sif, and Gamora. The Baroness tries to explain, but Doom's women aren't interested in talk. They attack Jennifer, but She-Hulk flees back through the portal. Inside this gateway, She-Hulk recognizes the magic and discerns its origin is from Arcadia. There is a traitor in their midst. Arriving back home, She-Hulk informs A-Force of this, but she finds that the three Thors have followed her back to Jennifer's domain. Again, the Baroness tries to explain the situation, but Gamora just won't listen. So Medusa entangles A-Force and pins them to the ground. Valkyrie is pleased at this, but She-Hulk can't believe that the Inhuman would betray Arcadia. But Medusa reiterates her threat from earlier. She-Hulk must do her duty, or Medusa will be forced to do it for her. The Inhuman releases her teammates and orders them to run, and then throws the Thors back through the portal. She tells Jennifer to protect Arcadia at all costs, and as Gamora is launched through the portal, she successfully hits Medusa with a blast of lightning. The Inhuman falls to the ground, dead, and in tears, Captain Marvel flies away. She-Hulk orders A-Force to split up and find the traitor. They have defied Doom, and everybody knows what is coming. As the Thor Corps close in on the small island of Arcadia, Storm creates the fog across the island to hide her fellow Arcadians. While She-Hulk begins to form a plan, Nico tells the Baroness that the new girl has an idea. The cosmic entity begins to sprout spatial energy and utters one command to the woman, who have shown her kindness. Hide. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of A-Force number 3. Okay, so we have another A-Force issue. Yay! I don't really know what else to say, really. The artworks, the writing works, why even little things like pacing, tone, and lettering all serve to tell a solid story, and A-Force is rapidly proving to be a high-quality tie-in for Secret Wars. There's nothing really remarkable about this comic, and it does feel a little short. But cool moments keep this story interesting, like Medusa's sacrifice or the ending with the girl, whose name is Singularity, by the way, but I don't think they've used that in the comic just yet. And I do think the art does a lot in selling a story I might not otherwise enjoy in the hands of a less talented creative team. So it's a good comic and one I do recommend overall. I even hope that they keep the idea of this team going forward. I wasn't sure what an all-female Avengers team would be like. It's a little weird of an idea on its own, feeling like one of those rah-rah, girl power kind of moments that's a little outdated at this point in 2015. But thus far I've found that A-Force is enjoyable and features a lot of characters I like. Hopefully the team or the idea of A-Force will somehow survive Secret Wars. We'll have to see, as I couldn't find any information on this one way or another, but I am, at this point, eager to get more than just five issues of the team. And that's all I can really think of saying, so feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.